Hey guys, today we are going to build something that I really need. So I've been wanting to become a crazy plant lady and I've started with collecting lots of different plants. I've started, well first off, most of my plants have always been like seasonal plants. You know the ones that only last a season? Well I've managed to have some pothos and some snake plants survive longer than that. And so I've added a couple of new ones to the mix. And what I'm really finding is that they are starting to grow and I'm needing to repot them more often and it gets my kitchen and my sink and everything so dirty. So today we're going to be building a potting bench. Somewhere that I have in the backyard that I can take all the plants and repot them and hopefully let them grow. And we're going to do this super simple potting bench. We're going to make it out of 13 2x4s and then we're going to add some awesome flair to it at the end. So stay tuned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two by fours. Next, I got the factory ends cut off and cut everything to the final dimensions per my cut list. With all the pieces cut out, it is now time for assembly. To start, I'm going to be assembling this shelf supports. I'm using this awesome corner clamp to hold the boards in place while driving the screws in. It's nice because it has a cutout that allows you to drill in two screws without removing the clamp. And since this bench is going to be used outdoors, I'm using some Simpson Strong Try 2.5 inch framing screws. This is my first time using these particular screws and they're awesome. Assembly on this potty bench is super easy and makes for a great beginner project. Lots of butt joints and screws, so it's super simple to make. And then assemble shelf number two the same way. And don't forget about that center cross support in there. Um, you don't really need it for support because it's not that wide, but it's going to give us something to attach the tabletops and shelf tops to later on in the build. Okay, now to figure out how the best way to attach the legs. The legs in the front are going to have an offset and are going to be shorter, and the back legs will be taller but will be flush to the shelf pieces. After looking everything over, I decided to attach the back leg first. Since it was going to be flush, I figured it would be a good place to start. I used or clamped a spacer block to the leg to give me the proper height for both the bottom shelves on both sides. And once everything looked good and square, I drove a couple more two and a half inch screws into the bottom to hold the shelf to the leg. Then I measured up to where I wanted the top shelf or the counter, keeping in mind the extra one and a half inch thickness that the top was going to add. And then I attached that using some more of those two and a half inch screws. I then flipped it on its side to attach the front leg. I used that same spacer block for the bottom shelf and lined it up with the two by four on the shelf with the leg to give me that proper inset I was talking about earlier. And when I had it right where I wanted it, I drove in a couple more screws and then did the same thing with the front leg in the top shelf. Now to repeat the process on the other side. The bottom shelf was super easy to attach using that same spacer block. But when it came to attaching the top shelf, I took several measurements, went back and forth, making sure everything was squared, lined up just right so that that top countertop was going to be level when everything was put together. Then for the last leg, I took it off the workbench and figured it'd be easier to install here. Um, I used that same spacer block and I grabbed a square to help keep everything lined up at the top, got my screws started, and then just attached it with those same two and a half inch screws. Super easy installation for this whole frame. Now that the frame's built, it's time to put those uh, shelf and countertops on as well as the back. I started with the very back 
countertop piece because that's going to go in between the two back leg uprights. Clamped it in place and got it screwed in. Then I added three cross supports across the back that were set inset. Um, and I put these on here about three and a half inches apart just to give some nice spacing. And these are where I'm going to be hanging any tools or decor or anything else like that on later on. Now for the bottom shelves. This was super easy. I just laid them on there and I started with installing the front board first because that one's going to be flush with the front of the leg so it's going to overhang kind of that apron piece that you see there. And then once I got them where I want them, I put three screws in each of them, one on each side and then one in the middle. And I did do a little measuring um, to get the spacing for the middle one and then eyeballed the other two. And then same thing for the top shelf or the countertop. I started with the front board because it's got a, a nice little overhang is what I was trying to achieve here. So I was using just a little measuring tool to help me make sure that the offsets were the same. And then I went ahead and clamped it in place, did the same three screws, and then continued with the rest of the boards. Um, the top boards do have less of a gap in between them, but they still do have a gap so dirt and water or whatever can just fall through and be fine. And then just a little bit of sanding. To be honest, I only sanded like places that I was gonna touch because this was gonna be outside. And then Oscar and I moved it to the backyard and got ready to put some finish on it using my cordless sprayer here with a clear coat and stain combo from uh, General Finishes. It's the same color that I used on my porch patio build. Um, went on super fast two or three coats and now it's time for that flare I was talking about earlier. I'm installing these in the little insets that you see here on the top back part. They're from Simpson Strong Ties Outdoor Accent line. These are the new Avant line. And these are the 90 degree angles with their connector screws. They're black, they're powder coated, and they're super awesome. They are super easy to install, just a couple of screws. They are structural, structurally rated, but here I'm using them more as a decor or accent piece. And I really think they turned this just regular 13 two by fours into an awesome potting bench. I used some of the extra connector screws to hang up some of my tools. And this is how it looks. I love the black accents against the natural wood. And now I have an awesome place to do all my repotting and hopefully make my black thumb turn greener. I hope you enjoyed this build as much as I did. And if you did, please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more awesome builds. And if you'd like to build a potting bench for yourself, I've got complete build plans available on my website. They have step-by-step -step instructions and drawings, tool lists, material lists, everything you need to make yourself an awesome potting bench. And remember, build loud, build wild, and have an awesome day.